Hello, where am I today? I am at the place where Gandhi ji lived. It is called Mani Bhavan. Gandhi ji lived here when he was in Mumbai. When he lived in Mumbai, this is where he planned the freedom struggle against the British. Now, in his memory, his house has been converted into a museum. It receives many visitors as well as international tourists. Do you want to have a look? Come. This is the museum. Come, let's have a look inside. Gandhiji was born on 2nd October 1869. Every year, this day is a national holiday. Gandhiji was fondly called Bapu, the father of the nation, and Mahatma. He was called this because he was very good and had a great soul who helped India a lot. The United Nations General Assembly on 15th June 2007 announced that 2nd October will be celebrated as the International Day of Non-Violence. He was born in Porbandar, a small town in Gujarat. He studied law in UK and then worked as a lawyer in South Africa. Gandhi lived there for 20 years. He was shocked by his experiences in South Africa. India faced a lot of racial discrimination over there. Let me tell you about it. One day, in 1893 South Africa, Gandhiji was travelling to Pretoria by train. A white man was sitting in the first class compartment. When he saw Gandhiji, he said that Indians weren't allowed in first class and asked him to leave. Gandhiji refused to leave because he had a first class ticket. However, when the train halted, Gandhiji was thrown out. This changed Gandhiji's life forever. When he was hit, he realized that just like him, other Indians faced the same treatment. That's when he decided to stay in South Africa and created the concept of Satyagraha. What does it mean? It means that any fight can be fought using truth and honesty. Violence must never be used. Only truth and peace must be used as it will help to win any battle. This path is the best. Gandhiji then returned to India in 1914 and saw that the British had completely captured India. He then encouraged people all over India to take part in the Satyagraha movement to remove the British from India. He advised people to follow the path of truth and honesty. Gandhiji created the Swadeshi movement. What does it mean? It means that one must use products only made in India and not by products sold by the British. Gandhiji said that this will make them economically independent and India will develop. He said that people must boycott British schools and colleges and attend Indian schools and colleges instead. 
Gandhiji's teachings have inspired many. In India, Gandhiji used his personal spinning wheel to make his own cloth. Here, have a look. If Gandhiji Satyagraha said that if they practice peace and honesty, their life will develop. Satyagraha will help to solve the problem of religious inequalities and unite people. In 2019, if we follow the path of Swadeshi and use Indian-made products like toothbrush, soaps, etc. and support Indian businesses, then India will develop and become very strong. Gandhiji led campaigns for removing poverty. For the empowerment of women, creating equality among religions, ending untouchability and making sure everyone was united. Gandhiji went all over the country and gave speeches for 30 years to unite people. India finally achieved independence. People gathered in large numbers for this and the Britishers were shocked by their power. Looking at their power, the British decided to leave India. This was proof to the world of Gandhiji's power. He never used violence and only carried out talks using the path of peace and honesty. This is the proof. For 150 years, Gandhiji's images have been displayed so that we remember to use his teachings of honesty and peace in our lives. We must keep spreading his teachings. Today, 2nd October, is Gandhi Jayanti. There is a famous quote by Gandhiji. It is very powerful. It means that if I want the world to change, I need to change my life first. The world will change automatically. Gandhiji's house here with his belongings have been preserved for so many years. Now it has been converted into a museum. You all must come visit this place and learn about his teachings. It will help to lead a better life.